So the project is a collaboration between the Department of Basic Education and the Department of Chemical Sciences in the Faculty of Science here at University of Johannesburg. The main aim is the fact that the Department of Basic Education realized the need for improvement of educators as well as learners in the space of physical sciences. And chemical chemistry was identified as one of the major stumbling blocks within that physical sciences space. So the whole idea is actually to take the education to the educators, to the learners, to move it away from campus, uh, bring especially things like experiments that learners can do even at home. Some of the school, in some of the schools, there they are no laboratories. So we're basically taking chemistry laboratories to the schools. So the science students or learners that we get from high school actually are the products of DBE. And we have also realized that for us to have a good product, we need to contribute. Um, and then we need to support chemical sciences in this endeavor so that we make sure that the product that we get is prepared for university or tertiary education. On the cusp of launching a transformative collaborative project with the Department of Basic Education, this initiative is testament to our shared commitment to expanding our capacity for educational excellence and societal impact. Uh, our VC is very particular about the fact that we must impact society. It, research cannot end uh, just within the university. Uh, and the essence of education transcends just the mere transmission of knowledge. We are about engaging, empowering. We want to inspire the learners to explore, to innovate and to apply their learning in meaningful ways. Uh, for us, uh, teaching is beautifully encapsulated in what uh, the Chinese philosopher, I forget his name, he said, tell me, I will forget. Teach me, I may remember. Involve me and I will learn. This project was born from two of our students. One is Mr. Pangaman Gianni, he's in the uh, room, and the other is Mr. Chris Ntuli. Mr. Pangaman was a diploma student with us, and he had entrepreneurial dreams of becoming a businessman. We took him, we mentored him. Uh, today, he's uh, the proud owner of a patent that is uh, granted in, not only in Africa, but in Europe. Uh, he's the founder of his own company, Organic Works. He's done his master's. He's now registered as a PhD student with us. Uh, and the second uh, student is Mr. Chris Ntuli. Uh, he's even more at the root because he came from Pumalanga and then he walked into my office one day and said, Prof, we need to go and help my brothers who are where I come from uh, if we can show them some of these things. Uh, and in, we decided to mentor him and helped him. He started a company called Young Brilliant Tutors. So this showcases our dedication that rather, uh, these inspiring stories are not just anecdotes. They are serious thing which we want to take further. Uh, and they underscore the need for a collaborative project with the Department of Basic Education, aimed at growing our capacity to foster innovation, enhance our teaching quality, and amplify societal impact. Uh, as we embark on this journey, we are guided by the wisdom of Theodore Roosevelt, uh, who said, do what you can with what you have, where you are. That's what we did. Uh, and now, within the department, within the faculty, and within the university, with this partnership, we want to expand our capacity to do what we can, increase what we have, so that we can make a better impact on society. Uh, it is a great joy and honor for us that you join us. We need your insights. We need your expertise. We need your support as we work to transform the educational landscape, taking it from better to better to better until our country will be a beacon of success. But to talk from the perspective of the Department of Basic Education. And for us, this is a momentous occasion. It is a culmination of a lot of hard work that uh, has gone into the development of the toolkit and the training manual as well as the work that the colleagues in the department have done in the line function uh, with Mr. Klabani and his team who work in math, science and technology, as well as with the teaching, uh, teacher development uh, directorate, Ms. Dr. De Homo, uh, who works with the training of uh, math teachers uh, specifically. 
but a number of other colleagues who worked in the background, I would like to single out the Quality Teaching and Learning Campaign, Mr. Akhlakula and his team, who worked towards uh, um, ensuring that this uh, event does happen. And all the hard work that has gone into that has led us uh, in all the technicalities that we've had to do, the development of a memorandum of understanding, as well as the actual practical work that uh, we will see unfold here today, I think um, is a culmination and our commitment to developing and improving um, the lives of our students who do um, physics in particular, and the component of chemistry. The component of chemistry has proven to be the weakest part of the subject in terms of how the learners have performed. Um, they have been improving over the academic results uh, very steadily, so we are very pleased about the improvement. But chemistry is a very difficult subject. Any of you who did chemistry at school, who did the subject physics at school, will know that that's the part that we all struggle with. And so um, I, I think that the more we create these opportunities, the more we um, provide opportunities for learners to excel beyond where they currently are, the more we're giving opportunities for learners to really take their rightful place in, in opening up career opportunities for them so that they can become meaningful South Africans, that they can hold their own against other students in the world and that they can enter into that um, market within the world um, to be able to provide the skills that's needed in our country as well as compete uh, um, internationally. As the current head of uh, Department of Chemical Sciences within the prestigious Faculty of Sciences at the University of Johannesburg. I'm profoundly honored to be, uh, to address you today. We are here to celebrate not just partnership, but a pivotal step forward in our commitment to educational excellence and societal betterment. This collaboration uh, between our university and Department of Basic Education, like other speakers uh, have said, it's a beacon of hope and progress in our collective mission to support the seamless transition of learners from secondary to tertiary education. The Department of Chemical Sciences has long stood as a pillar of research and innovation, leading the way in scientific discovery. Our achievements in research output are a source of great pride, but today, we gathered here to underscore a different aspect of our mission, a commitment to societal impact through education. Prof. Mbedi, when you took over the reins of the University of Johannesburg, you said to us, I would like to see you guys uh, making a real impact to our society. We listened. We're acting on that. And we promise you that uh, the results you're going to see throughout your tenure as the Vice Chancellor. Chemistry with its boundless potential to explain and transform the world around us is at the heart of our outreach. It is our tool, our medium to connect with and inspire the young minds who represent the future of our nation. Our initiative goes beyond mere academic support. It is endeavor to harness the power of chemistry to unveil the potential within each learner. Through preliminary engagements and trial programs in schools, we have witnessed firsthand the transformative impact of bringing chemistry to life for students. The success stories are not just affirmation of our approach, but are beacons that guide our path forward. They demonstrate the profound effect that hands-on Engaging science education can have on young learners, fueling their curiosity and ambition. The University of Johannesburg is a university that uh, you know, is proud of uh, its contribution towards uh, you know, ensuring that everything we do has societal impact. So this partnership between UJ Faculty of Science and the Department of Basic Education is important so that we can you know, work with uh, schools out there and bring the expertise that we have you know, closer to the people and show that, as they say, we make chemistry accessible 
And I say, you know, we must make chemistry accessible, but also interesting. And I saw the experiments that they are doing. If I was exposed to what I saw today, I'm sure I would have been a chemist today. Many faculties can learn from this, you know, uh, 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 you know, learn in a way that they make sure that the expertise we have with partners such as various government departments, we go out there and impact the lives of ordinary people. In this case, we are impacting the lives of learners, you know. I mean, education is a human right, and if we engage, you know, with learners at a young age and expose them to some of um, these things that they do in chemistry, some I can explain. Um, I'm sure we're going to ensure that our learners are interested in science, you know, chemistry, technology, engineering, and so on. So it's important. But I must be quick to point out that we've got other faculties that partner with other, other stakeholders, you know, government institutions, to bring the expertise that we have uh, at UJ closer to the people. Is it enough? No, there's scope to do more. And through this, I hope many more potential stakeholders will reach out to us and say, let's work together, and together we'll make a difference. There is a room where there are experiments being demonstrated. These are related to the syllabus of grade 10 to grade 12. These experiments, they are inclusive of the experiments that the students or the learners can use at home to learn concepts and also they have coding systems and 3D printing. I like what we are doing, uh, you know, the department and UJ, because it's only when we work together we can transform lives. If with this type of a partnership we can make science not only accessible but irresistible, will make a huge difference. At the University of Johannesburg we say access and excellence are not mutually exclusive. We say we want access, you know, that is excellent, for success, so that those that graduate here go out there and make a difference. Today we talk about the fourth industrial revolution, ladies and gentlemen. This is something that, you know, Africa has been caught napping the first, second, and the third industrial revolution we were just watching. Now, as my former colleague, you know, former Vice Chancellor, my predecessor, Prof. Morale, would say, we should be active participants in the fourth industrial revolution. And it doesn't only start at university, it starts with us partnering with teachers, with departments, you know, such as DBE, empowering our young minds there. When they graduate, they know from high school what they want to do, and then we can really change our lives. The biggest thing is that if we don't partner, we are going to be left behind. There are lots of Einsteins at our villages, ladies and gentlemen. With this project, I have no doubt we will find them, encourage them, show them the way. There are many Einsteins at Townships, with this project, we are going to unearth those. Also at suburbs, né? we mustn't forget those at suburbs. Farms, we need to give people hope. So 
if we are not the active participants in the fourth industrial revolution, no doubt we are going to be left out. But I say to you today, this is not cause for gloom and doom. What we need is to ensure that we respond rapidly and readily to this new context. And I can assure you at UJ, we have been really at the forefront of this. So minister, colleagues from DBE, you have partnered with the right institution because this is our daily bread. This is our things that we are proud of and we're going to make sure this works and this goes on and on and on and we find ways to replicate this. This is not just for five provinces. And through this partnership, I say we're going to make a huge difference to the fine young minds that are out there hungry to learn. And how beautiful will it be should one day they say, this guy is getting a Nobel um, Prize for chemistry. And the guy says, it started with that partnership with DBE and UJ. It's a very well thought and deliberate intervention in the areas where we need support as a sector. Well, indeed, it's a very fragile sector. It's a very troubled sector. Very important as it is. Because <clears throat> right for the professor, this is where careers are made or, 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 or destroyed. And now that we have ECD, I always say, now we start from cradle. Yeah. From cradle, it's either we work hard as South Africans to develop our kids from cradle, and all the things the slogans were saying, always, uh, the attempt to say, sometimes an idealist to say, it should beneficiate. Say, so what do you beneficiate when you don't have skills? You must beneficiate our products. They need skills, they need your, 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 especially your science skills. You need to have your chemists, your farmers. You, need, you really have to get pe people with hard skills to be able to do the things that you all aspire to do. Because indeed, Chancellor, education is the main of, point of focus, our social partners, and the public at large. And that's what always gratifies me about education. Everybody has an opinion. It means everybody's paying attention. Everybody has an interest. You may be angry about the attention, but at least everybody has an, has an interest and is paying attention. And therefore, it makes sometimes some of our work difficult, but it also makes it very easy because you have all hands on board trying to help us. In a very, as I say, dynamic environment, but also a troubled environment. We're a big system currently with more than 16 million learners and uh, excluding your, 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 your ECD now that you are taking and we're expecting to also then be adding about 7 million more learners into our, into our fold. We have 16 million learners in, in, the, in, in, the, <coughs> in, the, in the basic education sector. We run 26,000 schools. But what is also encouraging is how South Africans themselves continue to have confidence in public education. Because as we stand, rich and poor South Africans take their kids to public schools. Because we have 96% of learners in public education. That's why without really undermining other work, because I always say kids who write IEB are South, South African kids and when they succeed we celebrate. We present almost 800,000 learners for matric. And when they were really uh, saying lots of things around the results, I said, you know, I'll get IB to go and compete with the, with the smallest district in KZN, Ugu, which is about 15,000, it's the smallest in KZN, 15,000 go and compete with them. So we can't even uh, uh, be talking about any competition because indeed we are the system of education in the country. So supporting us, it's really supporting the country. And we are the first to admit, it's a very fragile system. Lots of things have to happen. And we cannot do it on our own. There's no way. We need partners. And as I say, strong partners. Uh, so that it's not all the silver bullets flying all over. Sometimes they're not sure which one really uh, shoots or doesn't shoot. But having partners like yourself really gives us the strength because the investor of Johannesburg is renowned for research and development excellence. And we do say all the time that we do want and wish to have 
to see performance in our gateway subjects. Because we do believe that science and maths play a key role in the industrialization, in innovation and development in many life-changing areas and to improve our learners' performance. Just a very short and quick message of acknowledgement from the National Professional Teachers Organization of South Africa. NAPTOSA extends a heartfelt support to the launch of the science project by the Department of Education, graced by the presence of the Minister of Education and other dignified guests. And as an organization, we are committed to enhancing the education sector. We stand firmly behind the initiative that promotes innovation um, and excellence in learning. NAPTOSA values and supports the integral role that teachers and learners um, take in shaping the future of education. We pledge an unwavering commitment to standing behind anyone um, or any endeavors that propel education forward. Through co collaborative efforts, we believe in fostering an environment that nurtures curiosity, critical thinking, and passion for scientific exploration. Together, let us continue to invest in projects that not only elevate the quality of education, but also inspire the next generation of thinkers and leaders. NAPTOSA is proud to align with endeavors that contribute to the advancement of education. And we look forward to witnessing a positive impact of this science project in our educational landscape. Thank you. I'm Wilhelmine Streidum. I'm from SAU. So as SAU, we are very honored to be here today to see the collaboration between the DBE and the University of Johannesburg. This project, we believe, will not only empower teachers to be the best versions of themselves and lifelong learners, but also increase the quality of education landwide. Um, it will also reap long-term benefits. We are curious to see the long-term benefits in terms of students and learners entering universities or high um, educational institutions, and then again after that, the workforce. So from our side, to all of the stakeholders in advance, thank you for all of your hard work, everything that's been put, put in already, for all of your, the, the nights I think you've spent working on this project. And we look forward to seeing the change in educa education. Thank you. I am Mr. Shazi, Linda Shazi, the General Secretary of the South African Principals Association, SAPA. We are delighted to be part of this uh, gathering as we want to pledge support for this particular initiative. Education, the word education comes from the Latin word which means educare or to bring forth. Through organized questioning, we aim to educate and bring forth the true identity of the child and the knowledge that they can achieve in the classroom. Education's centerpiece is the classroom. So all initiatives that address what happens in the classrooms are fully supported by the South African Principals Association. For us, education achieves three things. It, it gives identity to the person and indeed dignity. It empowers the individual, but also most importantly, education impacts society. And I do believe through this project, all those three key areas will be achieved. SAPA, or South African Principals Association, welcomes this initiative and it supports it. Thank you. You know, if something is deliberate, as it is, it's conscious, as it is, it's structured. And as I say, that's what is nice when you deal with academics, give much body process, the systems. And so you have to do something which is very structured, well thought through, well monitored, well researched, then you know you're on safe grounds. And for us as the big system that we are, it helps to deal with the university. Because as I say, they will write, they'll document, then you can spread 
the lessons to other parts of the system which you have not been able to reach. So I see it also it's a very big, big in initiative which will impact on the system itself. And if it impacts on the system, especially your teachers, I mean, uh, you can do things with learners. Learners pass and go. If you get your teachers, you get your subject advisors, you work with the department, then it becomes systemic, then it remains in the system. I am from the UJ Sohoto Science Centre, and the UJ Sohoto Science Centre is basically one of the flagship community engagement projects under the um, Faculty of Science. And our job really is learner enrichment, and we do this through various exciting programs that support learners and also assist them with improving their marks in high school so they can also someday sit like this, like we are. Uh, part of our programs is also teacher development and support, and we do various other science-related community engagement activities. Now, unfortunately, we are very small. Um, we are limited only to the Gauteng province. So in light of this, we are really excited about this project. Uh, we will be even more excited when it actually comes to life. Um, we're excited because it's expanding to other provinces, and it's really within the vision of the Faculty of Science at UJ. My name is Tembiso Makajana, and I run an organization called Social Coding, which provides free digital literacy, coding, and robotics classes for rural communities. We currently run programs in Gauteng, Limpopo, and Bumalanga, but the goal is to be in all nine provinces by 2026. Um, in partnership with APSA, we also just launched in Zambia because we do have a pan-African mission. And simply what we're trying to do is ensure that every child, no matter the background they come from, is a benefactor of the digital age, right? We believe that students, particularly in rural communities, must have access to quality education, but must also be full participants of a changing world. We are very proud partners of UJ, of this project, and we do pledge not only our supports and available resources, but our unrelenting commitment to ensuring the success of this project. We thank the department, we thank um, the professor and his team for entrusting us as partners, and we cannot wait until we are here again, not talking about the start of a project, but the impact that it has. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nimrod uh, Ngema. I'm a physical sciences and mathematics teacher from Raymond Mshaba. Uh, this project, how will this project help or assist me in my classroom? Uh, first, to start with, uh, we are from an uh, underprivileged uh, community in a way that we, our school lack resources. So this uh, innovative idea is going to help us in a way that we help our learners uh, um, to make uh, sciences more accessible to them in a, way, in a way that they can connect to the real world that they live in uh, uh, by you guys providing us with the experiment kits, the scientific kits, uh, we're going to be able as well as educators to like improve in terms of implementing new strategies and cooperating those uh, new kits uh, in our class classrooms. The experiments that I've been observing next door about science spark so much that I've been thinking of taking physical sciences next year in grade 10, as I'm in grade 9. And that is the end of my speech, and I hope all of us are having a supercalifragilisticexpialidocious valentine. So I want you to think a little bit about student success. Student success means that when we take learners from a secondary education perspective and we bring them on board to higher education, then we need to be comforted that there is a good foundation that they come on board with in order to be successful at university. And so from our perspective, when we hear about colleagues at UJ working with important stakeholders like the DBE, and they have conversation, and they talk about collaboration. And all of this is to meet a need in secondary education. Then we are comforted, and we are encouraged. And that's very important. And so from our perspective, we've just heard a learner. I don't know where the, le uh, the learner is sitting here. And he just said something very important. He said, I may be taking physical science next year. So that means already we are working somehow. It means 
that there is an interest in physical science because of the collaboration that has happened. And Minister, thank you for giving us the responsibility, myself and all of us who, 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 who have uh, taken up the responsibility of ensuring that we take care of, of mathematics and MECs, uh, colleagues that are in provinces as well. Um, your, your presence here is, is, is putting a very uh, big task before us, uh, that you cannot come here for nothing. Uh, your, your coming here is a very strong message to say, uh, we have no choice, we must make this program to, to succeed. And uh, we, we, we will do uh, exactly that. Um, I, I would really like to, um, to, to thank the Minister and the MECs for making time uh, in the extremely busy schedules to be here. Uh, the Vice Chancellor, uh, we, we do understand that it was very difficult to get into your diary and uh, for, for you to commit this day. Uh, and you being um, a lawyer, um, I, I take that you will really read through that MOU uh, with a legal mind. Uh, to I ensure. To say I, I mustn't be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, you you'll ensure that we what 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 is what is what when you append your signature to that agreement, uh, it it will have to be to be honoured. Uh, MECs, thank you very much for, for coming. Um, all all the, uh, the, the DVC, uh, all, all the deans, uh, professors, um, officials from DBE, and uh, all staff at UJ, our social partners, Naptosa, uh, Natu, Sau, Seis, Fetsas, Sapa, and uh, our, 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 our very eloquent uh, 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 RCL student, you, you reminded me when I was your age, we, we used to start when we debated by saying, gentlemen and ladies, my aim is not to inebriate you with the exuberance of my verbosity. <laughs> <laughs> so you, so you, you, you took me back to, uh, to, to my days when I was still uh, your age. If you ask me what I just said, I don't, re I don't know. <laughs> But, uh, but, but we used to say that, and, um, and, and Satu and Soweto Science Center and the, and the social coding, uh, thank you very much for your, for your commitment that you have made to ensure that you are going to give a South African child an opportunity to succeed and uh, uh, participate in the, uh, in the economy of this country. And most importantly, particularly for this subject, that. We come out of a very deadly pandemic. If we are to fight future pandemics, this, this, this subject is going to, to play a, a very critical role, and we need to produce them and produce them uh, in, in big numbers. Uh, our responsibility of producing female scientists um, still remains. Um, yes, we, we, we have done very well. And, and like Minister said that, we always say, you know, we have exceeded the targets. Minister, we have exceeded. And, and now I know that Minister just look at us and so he say, Minister, we have exceeded the targets. <laughs> to say, um, in as much as um, the, the girl learners in the system, particularly those who are doing science, we've got more girls uh, than boys. And, uh, and, and there are those now who are saying the boy child is in danger. But we say our task is not completed. Until we change the, the landscape of the, the STEM profession. So it, it is not about only the number of learners doing science, the number of girls, but until they proceed and occupy and change and we've got more women uh, in science professions, our task is not uh, done. Uh, and uh, at the end, I would like to thank um, uh, Papa, thank you so much uh, for, for, for always being here. We see you, uh, your interest in education, particularly basic education, uh, is visible. Uh, you are always present. Uh, we see you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mutsekha. In your role as a parliamentarian, uh, your interest is in every citizen in the country. But uh, thank you very much for taking special interest uh, in basic education. Uh, we know the reasons why. We will not say them here. <laughs> but we know the reasons. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm excited about the 
kids or the project that, that are, they are going to bring for, to make life easy for us. And the thing I like is that this project does not discriminate our background. It doesn't matter whether we are poor or rich. Um, at the end of the day, we are all going to get the need that we need. We are all going to get the need that we want. And I feel like it is very important because some of us learn like in a good way, in a practical way. Sometimes theoretically, we can't seem to understand. So having to do it practically is much more easier. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.